No, but... Like, not as bad. And it doesn't look as bad anymore, because Kirsha said something five, ten times worse. David Hunting, five dollars. Comedy is pain plus time. Mathematically, Hindenburg is hilarious. Right? Right? She sucks at this I think game, that was something uh, the Nostalgia Critic used to say. You hit the first that ladder, comedy you dumb is bitch. Terrible. Pain plus timing, or something like that. This is like, terrible gameplay. I don't think that's true. I think five dollars. Two rats walk into a bar. The owner had to shut down the bar due to health violations. I jump. You idiot. Please don't go on another tangent about good pedophilia again. Whenever you collab with her. Okay, I'll go on one right now. So chat, how do we feel? How do we feel about pedophiles using AI-generated child pornography in order to ethically, <laughs> in order to more to more ethically? Uh, what is she doing in this game? What in the fuck? Dude, I'm pretty... Actually... Ah. She is not good. Whatever the fuck this is. Quell their urges. <laughs> how, do you, how do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about that? Is there such a thing as ethical consumption of child pornography? Play the game. Lord, I'm trying! Somebody just messaged me if I, if I never played Warrior Land. Actually, no, because I think it was on Game Boy. <laughs> I didn't have a Game Boy. <laughs> but I play pretty much every Mario platformer uh, in existence. But. And almost all the 3D ones, too. <laughs> His mind is going places. If I dig up. <laughs> Go ahead. A smaster 33 sent one dollars on Rumble. They can quell the urges with a bullet. <laughs> yeah, and again, I haven't seen this clip yet, but uh... no, there isn't. I had this debate years ago. I genuinely don't know about like that kind of thing, right? I don't know. I feel like that's up for like real psychologists and shit to um. To decide. God, she's But it does make me curious, like. Oh no. Is there is there is there like like could people that are like that, right? Could could they be like somewhat like helped by shit like that? I don't know. Don't get anything with fun dollars. An hour later. Or does it just make it worse? Right? Does it just make their does it just make their She's talking like, to a bunch of pedophiles? Urges and shit worse. And increase their chance to like offend. I don't bother thinking dollars. Huh? God. Doctor Jank sent five dollars on Rumble. Here, Ralph. Too big for an email. That's okay. I'll play it after this. Thank you, Jank. Sorry, We're really bum rushing that goal. Here, sit out. Seventy-five dollars. <laughs> please, please, if anything happens, uh, happens to you, I don't know how I'll spend my evening. Smell of you think five dollars. This game is giving you a different type of brain rot. I'm not thinking five dollars. AI doesn't state. He does. They only get off from the actual suffering of children. So what's that thing? The Lord's people the AI would need to be trained on something. But if it's trained on like 3D works. But if it's trained on like 3D stuff, right? Hmm. What if? And then. God, she sucks. Right? Think I'm okay. Think I'm gonna be. This is the one area Congress stumbled ahead of in technology. Realistic generations are legal, really. My pizza thing, but Lars. The pizza tip for delivery, tangent 20 or less. Finally, you bitch. Fuck. Oh, you suck. This shit is hard. 3D what? 2D? Pippa, please change topics. Eh. Adam. Learn to read, rabbit. Read what? Let's not over things with men. Let's change something. She's ah! so bad at this game, it's distracting from the actual clip. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let me replay that. Sorry. You're right, I did miss one. Where is that? Let me re Anonymous sent $3 listening to the old intro made me want to say oh, thanks welcome. for the years of entertainment. I thought last summer's cozy revolt was fun, but this summer's run starting with Cog Death onward has been awesome. 
onward and upward. Thank you for that. And I'm glad someone in chat reminded me to play that. And I'm sorry that took me a minute. Um, but yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for being here. This is like, she's distractingly bad at the game. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you guys like edgy stuff, but only when it's like, only when it's like pole shit. But when I talk about like pedophilia, suddenly everybody's uncomfortable. Yes, I know, Lincoln Baby. My girlfriend dumped me, so I stole her wheelchair. Guess who came crawling back? Spider Lincoln Midlands, wood chipper. Also, don't tell me you're gonna obsess over horses next. What? No, <laughs> I don't want either, Jesus fuck. Who's gonna tackle the revived New Zealand's fisherman? Come get this rabbit, she's enough to hand in juice. I think, I think, I think I'm burnt out on this game. I think, I think I'm. Um... Oh shit. I think you I've just hit my... I've hit, I've hit my cap for this. My, uh, my brain, my brain has shut off. Horse rant, horse rant. Ah! You want the super list? Uh, yeah, sure. Been running in circles for a while now. Yeah, kind of, I kind of shut off. Ah, oh, fuck. Our cat bro's crying right now. Pippa, keep going. Talking thing with Dolores. Uh, background noise with Dolores. The fish signal has been lit. Not the horse rat. I think, I think you guys are into some weird shit. Yeah, they're Close watching you, so... Not the guy thinking for Dolores. Ravager123 sent $1 on Rumble. Anyone know where we can find archives of the old Kamites? You can't. I tried to speak to Tonka on YouTube and he won't re-release them. Yeah, he won't. He took them all down. Some people have copies, but... Yeah, you can't, those are really hard to find, so... And Worski hit all his, too, so... Uh, I'd like to think they could be helped, that being said. Could they go to a therapist, just have cops arrest them? I like, they'll have to do that. I, I don't know, I think it's genuinely an interesting subject, right? Oh, yeah? Okay, so taking off the saying shit for shock value. Uh... Microphone. Whatever. People, people that are attracted to children. Can they? The ones watching your show, yeah. Can they get, like, help? Or is it, if somebody, like, confesses to having those kinds of feelings, like, is it is it best to just, just lock them up? I don't know. They, I think probably so, yeah. They haven't offended, right? But it's like, it's like, I guess it's like the same thing with, like, people, people that have, like, like, murderous urges and shit, right? Like, if somebody, if somebody, like, I don't know. I don't know. No, not really. Uh, Space Guy Riding by Dolores Pippa. I don't think it's winging them. What? Punishment required, but they haven't technically committed a crime yet. They haven't committed a crime yet. So it's the same thing with like people that have like, like violent urges, right? Like if you want to kill somebody, should you get locked up? It's not the same thing at all. Immediately? Right? Like if you have, if you have like built in violent urges, they're a liability. But what's like the- This is like a, just a total pedo defense, by the way. No, it's not the same thing at all. Are these people using voice changers? I think- I don't know uh, about this bitch or not, but... Align with that as well, right? There's another thing, baby. Hey, Papa, I've got a joke for you. Why did nobody laugh when George Bush told a 9-11 joke? It was an inside joke! <laughs> Churches and schools tried to do therapy in the 70s. We know how that worked. That's not the same? Why is it not the same? It's both people that... Like, want to do bad things. Should they do less? Christ can heal all. It's not the same thing at all, actually. Um, and to want to kill somebody or to, like, have that feeling is perfectly normal. <laughs> somebody. Okay. That, you know, that's not. But... <laughs> Um, it's, it's trying to run defense for pedophilia and pedophiles is what it is. She's making the same points as leftists. That's right. Trying to push the Overton window to, to accept pedos. Yes, that's correct. I mean, if anybody's had a fleeting moment where they wanted to kill somebody or said, oh, I'm going to kill you, da, 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 and didn't obviously, cause they were just mad. I won't get into that or fucked up on pills and drink. Everyone has violent urges, not everyone is attracted to children. I would Correct! That's what I just said! Say 
say everybody has aggressive urges, but I don't think violent urges are normal. Right? Except they are. At least to like certain extents, right? Like like people there's having violent urges, right? And then there's like like an actual like potential danger to commit violence. Fenty, thank you for the five dollars. Have you seen The Rock's evil weapon SNL sketch? I have not. If you punish people for actively seeking help, won't that make more hide? It seems better if they come forth. That's kind of that's kind of what my outlook is, right? Like it seems like pedophilia is just genuinely like a mental illness, right? It's a mental illness, and so like there's gotta be a way to like treat these people. There's gotta be a way to to fix them, you know? Well, like oh, great point. What's like the best route for that? You know? Red Pirate Robert thing, but pre crime is a slippery slope to red flag laws. Yeah. Hmm. Some people can't be fixed. Well, I think my boys. Well, if you want to talk about it with someone, I take the risk. If you were down, well, I just know I would have religion involved. What? I the line, chat. I see we're having good conversations. Yeah, great conversation. Fucking. Oh. I don't think there is a way to help them. Is that is that for like the average person to decide though? Like I feel like I don't know. This combo with the music is fun juxtaposition. There's gotta be there's gotta be a way. A smaster thirty three sent one dollars on Rumble. There is a way to treat these people. Yeah. Treat them like shit. Yes, that's right. Uh, some people had some other treatments in mind. Gotta be a way to fix those people. Uh, space guy writhing for those. Okay, so just because some people are attracted to something doesn't mean they're going to act on it. I mean, look at chat. They've never touched anyone. I'm not going to name anyone, I don't think this establishment... The establishment is interested in treating them because it's such a great control mechanism for blackmail. Reference Epstein. I guess... I guess that does make sense. Like, the government would never want to actually punish pedophiles because it is easier to weaponize it against them. Which, rightfully... But weaponize it against them after they step out of line. Because that's your customer base. Yeah, we understand. You know what I mean? Use it. Use so it. So just wait it. until they molest a child. Okay. <clears throat> At the very least, they should be held under remanded into psychiatric custody that's like the minimum uh, and i could think of some different ideas as well and it is convenient rather than pun you could just off them of course for sterilization there's a lot of different things you could do but wait just wait until they, they come forward and say they were pedophile this is the same shit as that ethical pedophile article was that on salon or the other fucking what was the other one that started with an s Slate, I can't remember if it was Salon or Slate, where that article came out. It was during the Gamergate era, basically, around that time, where this guy put out an article and said he was the ethical, he was an ethical pedophile, and they promoted that shit, and it was all over the place. I have an article about it on theralfretort.com. It was a huge deal. Um, maybe like 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. Salon, yeah, I think it was Salon. They ended up taking the article down. You can still find it somewhere. But uh, this is literally the same argument. First time I ever heard the map term, yes. And that was promoted everywhere, and it got so much heat that they had to take it down, basically disavow it. Virtuous pedophile, yeah, you're right. That was the term, virtuous pedophile, you're right. Man, I mean, Swamp Party sent three dollars. God, this stupid bitch does know how murderous thoughts even work. Holy fucking shit, this stupid, ugly bitch murderous or just work. Them women need to shut up for murderous or just a controllable, unlike pedophilia. That's right. That's correct. And plus, they're, it's like fleeting. It's like, are you getting mad at, or angry or whatever? And it goes away. Or you say something you don't mean. Like, what the fuck? Like, I won't get into how people can malign you over saying, oh, I'm gonna kill you. You don't, whatever. Uh, when, of course, you weren't gonna kill anybody. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure most people listening I said I'm gonna kill this one or whatever. Oh fuck, you know. Fleeting thought and you're never really gonna kill anybody anyway. You weren't even really thinking about killing them in ninety percent of the cases at all. But whatever. Punishing them when they commit the crime. Every day, Mary Remember? Jane said, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, PTM Feeding, Dolores, thanks for waiting for me to face my dinner pips. Back on noise, thing, Dolores, how old for me, rather? So that's the clip uh, right there. Press one if Pippa should be remanded into custody herself. Uh, and the key thrown away. <clears throat> but there's a complete difference. Um, you know, um, murderous urge. I wouldn't even classify it as that. Like, if you sit there and you're planning out a murder, <laughs> that's different from saying, oh, I'm going to kill somebody or, oh, I'm going to kill you. Like, um, and then it's gone, right? Because you were never serious about that in the first place. Now, if you're sitting there planning out murders, obviously that puts you in a different category <laughs> of actual potential murderer. But violent thoughts are, you know, it's normal, basically. Or like, oh, you get so mad at somebody, you say something... And then it's gone. Whereas the pedophil pedophilic thoughts uh, never really go away, according to their own testimony. Uh, the, the pedophiles say, even in that Virtuous Pedophile article, he talks about it never goes away, really. So it's completely different. It's not even in the same ballpark. And why is this conversation being had in the first place? By some pedo-baiting cartoon rabbit who has an audience full of pedos, basically. Good portion of them, at least. And again, I'm taking the moderate approach. I'm not going to say every single person, but you're sick to be watching this shit all the time anyway, at the very least. And then some of them, I have no doubt, are actual pedophiles. Yes. 100,000%. Real Artax says this whole conversation is strikingly similar to Amos Yee. Yes. Who Medicare said was nothing but a troll. No big deal. You guys are overreacting. That was actually on an episode of the Kumite. And guess what? They caught the motherfucker with a pile of child porn. And that's true also, Stefan. There's justifications for certain acts of violence. There is none for child abuse. Yeah, I agree with that. But I'm saying even for the ones, there are no justification. Like, you know, that's kind of just a normal, ingrained thing now should you say those things should you like let that come out no but i mean that's normal a smaster 33 cent one dollars on rumble amos e more like anus p <laughs> amos cp more like it it's just complete trash the whole argument just as bad as her gameplay that was <sighs> distractingly bad but why why even go there really and i know some people other people have done that it's basically the mr girl argument i've heard others make the argument too better that they get help um i'm not sure I, I don't really terrible absent some like really serious you know i don't even know that i believe that you can cure a pedophile at all locking them up or taking them away Galactic sent three dollars Sargon one. Doing one of those. <laughs> so I don't really know that it's curable, to be honest. And that go that's from the pest uh, testimony of virtuous pedophiles, etc. I don't really know that it's curable in any way whatsoever. Now, can you just kill every single one? <laughs> but I would think the bare minimum for somebody coming out and saying they're they're a pedo and confessing that to authorities or therapists or whatever, um, they should be remanded into 
psychiatric custody for an extended period. Of, this is like light, by the way. But they should be remanded into psychiatric custody for an extended period of time, undergoing the most intensive therapy possible, shock therapy maybe even, right? Like sh hardcore type shit. And they should be, if they're ever let out again, which is a big risk, to be honest, they should be under heavy monitoring, which really the resources aren't even there for that type of thing. So, you know, to me, the moderate position is to just keep them locked up in the psych ward for the rest of their life. Now, unfortunately, you know, in America, at least, there's not a lot of, they just, jail deals with hardcore psychological issues like that in the most, for the most part. And so, you know, that, that's how it works. A doll wolf sent $1 on Rumble. These people need to find Christ. It's the only cure. Let's be real here. At all costs. Find the Lord Jesus. Yeah, I think that could help too. Ralph is in, or excuse me, Ralph Zen says, most pedos are just lured into it and told they have no choice by bitches like that. Well, also, you know, it's promoted. Like, we've just been talking about it all week. It's promoted by these big companies for money, and they can call it whatever they want, but, you know, we went through all the evidence all week. And we had the guy on last night who just completely embarrassed himself. We just destroyed him, by the way. Also, what's that clip that you made, Dr. Jank? I'll have to scroll back and grab that. Where is that? I see it now. I don't really think there is a cure for pedophiles. Yeah, I know that too. Wink, wink. Um, well, I won't go what I already know about that. Cause a Smaster 33 sent $1 on discussion. Rumble. But we need to figure out what part of the brain makes people think this way. I suggest a small exploratory <laughs> surgery with a bullet. I can understand that suggestion. Also, the thing is, um, I'm not in favor of drawn lollycon being legal either, by the way. Uh, that being said, that's even a different category than, for me at least, I still think it should be illegal. But, and I don't know if I made this point yesterday or not, to me, that's even less offensive, less demonic, less harmful to society than actual women LARPing as children online with a fucking 3D cartoon avatar so sick fucks can get off on it. In my opinion, that's worse. When they're LARPing as underage girls and doing the baby voice and the girl voice and all this stuff. And some of them are just flat out. You saw the baby, baby, baby clip that's been sent in a couple times this week. To me, that's even worse. And if you watch, and of course, you know, they've tried to turn this on Dick Masterson and Vito and all this stuff. Um, specifically, Dick Masterson, though. They're like, Dick Masterson's a fan of Lolly. He's not. And if you watch that appearance with Digibro... When it's brought up, it's really wincing and like a doll wolf it's not a lot dollars on Rumble guy. I was against tubers when it started out because I knew they preyed on vulnerable and socially awkward men who lacked female attention. I wasn't aware of the pedo angle until yesterday. I'm sick. Well, you know, I've been made aware of a lot of that this week myself, and I wasn't totally aware either. So, but um. Dick Masterson is not a fan of Lolly. And go back and watch that interview, and you can see he's disgusted by <laughs> what Digibro is saying. You can watch it. Now, you know, I don't know on, like, banning it all, but I know that there's a delineation for him between that and this, um, you know, drawn stationary imagery, which again, I think should be banned. That's my position. But there's a difference between that and an like actual voice, actual moving avatar, LARPing as a child, talking about, 
was it uh, safe and legal pedophilia? What was the phrase again? I have to find it. We had it pulled up, but uh, good and legal pedophilia. Yeah, there's a difference there. Um, again, I think both should be banned. But to me, it's even worse. Like one drawn image or images or whatever, stack of images versus like actual interaction with somebody. It's your brain. You're suspending disbelief and uh, imagining that you're interacting with a child, stuff like that. To me, that's totally different. Well, maybe not totally different, but it's different. So while I'm in favor of getting them both the hell out of here, I can see delineating between the two. Uh, that being said, I don't. I think they should, they should all be gone. But I can understand somebody's like, okay, this is one thing. This is quite another, <laughs> right? And like I said, you can just go back and watch that interview with, with the dick when he had Digibro on, and he's not supporting Lolly. He's not saying, I'm a fan of Lolly. He doesn't have any of that. Like, <laughs> I've been to his house many times. There's no Lolly sitting around. There's no stash. Like, it's just complete bullshit. And so they're trying to deflect and, like, well, why won't Ralph call out Dick Masterson? Da, da, da. First off, I'll take a bullet for that nigga. And so, you know, that doesn't mean we agree. On but a doll wolf sent one dollars on rumble i pray for the vulnerable men who get caught up in these cliques because they don't have any other friends or feel like it's funny to go along with it may christ save them from this evil amen amen but you know and i'll let him speak on his own if he talks about this this vtuber shit I, you know i don't speak for him but uh we talk often pretty often is all i'll say and um you know i'll let him weigh in if he wants but um, those are two different things. And he was never pro Lollicon. <laughs> That's a complete misrepresentation of what he said. Oh. And the fact that they tried to deflect onto, oh, well, Ralph's not calling out Dick. He's not calling out Beto. No. Well, there's a reason for that because they're not Lollicons. <laughs> now, do I agree on every single take they have? No, they don't agree on every single take I have. But yeah, there's a reason. There's a reason for that because they're they're not lollicons, and it's just comical to see people like Pete O'Shea and others. Although to be fair, he has at least been calling out this bitch and some of the other shit. But it's comical to see them. Well, why is Ralph not calling out Dick Masterson? Well, because he's not a lollicon. <laughs> so, and neither is Vito, for that matter. Because he played some game 15 years ago and made some jokes versus these VTubers who are actively LARPing as little girls and creating a culture and community based on that. And I have so many screenshots from the Phase Connect Discord that you wouldn't even believe. And I don't even, I'll have to go blur them out to post. I don't want to post that shit on my Twitter without blurring it out. That's the only reason I haven't posted some of this stuff yet. So, anyway, in my mind, in the mind of many others, um, there's there's a difference between, like, drawings and then some fat bitch, ugly bitch, LARPing as a little girl to make baby noises for money and to talk about their sexual proclivities and, you know, fetishes in the character of a little girl live on air for money while they interact with the audience. Now, in my opinion, ban it all. But I can see somebody saying, okay, this is one thing, this is quite another. <laughs> I can understand that too. To me, it's, it's easier to say, fuck it all, ban it all. Because it's clear what it is. And that's always been my position. And it's never changed. It's never changed no matter who I was with. All that shit they try to say on Twitter. It's always been my position. Always. You've never seen me waver on that. Get rid of it all. Now, I didn't know just what was going on with the VTubers. 
But I've never had any other position other than ban Lollicon. Just get it out of here. So, and I've been quite consistent on that throughout my whole career online. And I didn't, I'd never even heard about Lollicon before I got into this shit. So I wouldn't have had a position on it before then because I would have never heard about this fucking Jap shit. Would have never even known about it. Because I was quite happily a normie <laughs> and was not even exposed to that sort of dialogue. Right? I, I would have never even come up in regular life, and most people aren't. They wouldn't even know what the fuck that is. Right? You, you understand what I'm saying? Most people would have no clue. Most regular people in, in regular society don't even know what the fuck Lollicon is because they never fucking heard about it. Only on the sick-ass internet would you even be exposed to that shit. And only in certain circles, right? This is not a topic of discussion amongst normal people. Now, it comes up online because these fucking pedos and pedo-adjacent people and pedo-baiting motherfuckers are extremely online. And if you're, you know, a talk show host or a podcast host and you're like in this sector or even adjacent to it, yeah, you're probably going to hear about it. But most people in real life don't even know what the fuck. They wouldn't even, they would be shocked. They're, they're, I know the first time I heard about it, I was. I didn't even know that category of entertainment, quote unquote, existed. Just like I knew about the VTuber shit, but I didn't know actually that this sick bitch was LARPing as a 13 year old. Or the Kiki bitch was supposed to be, what was it, nine or some shit? Like, I don't know, or 11 or whatever the fuck it was yesterday. Or that there was an actual one LARPing as a fucking baby that has come up two or three times. That Shadow Realm, whatever the fuck. Sh Fallen Shadow or whatever. Yeah, Fallen Shadow, I think's the name. I didn't even know that fucking shit existed until this week. Now, I knew VTubers existed. I knew this dumb Pippa fucking whore existed. But I didn't know anything else. Like, I didn't actually watch the content because I'm like, okay, weird fucking anime shit. Like, I don't even need to see that shit. I didn't realize it was supposed to be a 13-year-old girl because I never bothered to watch the shit. Then they're like, oh, Ralph's scared of a cartoon rabbit. He blocked a rabbit. Da, da, da. First off, the bitch ain't blocked now and hasn't been, hasn't been blocked for a long-ass time. Second off, I just saw some talking shit and blocked her. A, a smaster 33 cent $1 on Rumble. Hey, Pettitubers, be sure to thank Brian Gator Holloman for all this new exposure. And that's right. I would have never known about this. I, I knew there were VTubers. I knew it was some cringe, weird-ass shit, but I didn't know the extent of what this actually was at all. So I really didn't have, you know, I was just like, ah, oh, weird Jap shit that these fucking, like, super weebs are obsessed with. That's basically all I knew. I didn't realize how popular it was, for one. I knew of it. I'd heard some names and some of these company names and stuff like that, but I didn't really know what the real deal was. Or they talk about the shark bitch, that Guru Gara, whatever the fuck her name is, who had 20,000 people watching. It's profitable. Like, you can't lie about that. But she appears to be like six or seven years old and is a full-blown lolly dancing around the screen in the skimpiest of clothing and interacting in real time with people beating their meat to this material, the shit's got to go. I'm with Perspicacity. The shit has to go. But I no, I had no idea. And had never even... I had seen people posting her avatar or whatever on Twitter, some weird fucks like Gator and Flamenco, etc. But I never turned on one of these fucking streams. And even any time somebody sent me a clip or tried to spam me a clip of this fucking horror here, the rabbit bitch, I, you know, I might see 30 seconds or a minute or whatever, and, but I didn't know that she was LARPing as a 13-year-old because I didn't fucking take the time to know. So I was just like, weird, freak shit, blocked, go away. That was how I, I dealt with it. 
And to me, it's just another bitch talking shit. It's like, whatever. Some whore online is talking shit. Not the first time I've seen it. Won't be the last. But I didn't actually investigate what the fuck was going on. And that's exactly correct, anonymous in chat. The dishonesty is the worst. They all know what they're doing. Yes. Every single one. And that clip of Pippa that Perspic dropped yesterday was a fucking nuke for a reason. Because it's meta. It's her discussing what they actually do in a meta way. Good and legal pedophilia. Basically describing what they do for a living. Using those words, which I vehemently disagree with. Galactic sent three dollars. Lowly shouldn't exist, and a convention yes. full of these people going into a room and jacking off to an animation of a topless child should be nuked. And that's what Gator was into. That's what he was literally in that room. Could you? Don't imagine. I don't want to imagine. But just. Absolute ultimate dregs of society sitting in a room that they paid. They probably had to pay a thousand dollars extra to get in that room so they could see these fat or and or ugly bitches behind them behind the cartoon play as little children naked. So they could jack off to it. I mean, it's just fucking the sickest thing you could have. Maybe not the sickest thing, but it's like in the top cut of sickest things you could imagine. Besides like actually molesting children and stuff like that. Like it's in the top cut of sick shit. So yeah, I don't know. I've had a long tangent there, but <laughs> But yeah, all the shit needs to go. Including the hand-drawn shit, in my opinion. And my opinion's never changed on that. You can look, pull it up on any kill stream. And Gator used to say the same thing. And Flamenco, if he didn't say it, damn sure didn't take a different... He damn sure didn't say what he says now. Not on my show. Because he knows he would have been crushed. And we pulled up Gator tweets from yesterday... Totally different position. And I remember him talking to somebody I used to know when they came on the show for the first time. First time we met, quote unquote. And they were saying lollycon should be legal, da da da. Making all the same arguments we heard from the stooge last night that called in. And was getting ripped to shreds by Gator and Rambot. Rambot specifically. And that show's still out there. Where did those people go? Because my positions never changed. Now, not only do they have different positions, they actively promote and participate in this sick pedo-baiting V2 bullshit. Bullshit is a too kind of a word. Evil is the real word. So not only have they completely changed their position, not only was the discussion we were having with that person that I used to know about hand-drawn lollycon and they were, like, losing their mind over it, which I agree should be banned. But they have di just a full 180 and not even just change their mind. They actively promote and participate in the dissemination of lollycon in the communities of these lollycon VTubers how did Anonymous sent $10. This is some hololive whore named Bijou Lapping as a toddler. Apparently, she is the most popular of her gen group. I wonder why. Okay, everyone. Okay, I'll pull that up. Jesus Christ. And then, Medicare's got the nerve to go on Twitter last night and say, well, all these people were around Ralph. And they didn't say that shit when they were around me, oh fuck. Who I hope to God really is sick. They didn't say that shit around me, Jim. But when you took them under your wing, their tune changed. And I wonder why. 
because they felt free to let their freak flag fly when they were under your tutelage. Around me, they knew better. And so did that person I used to know who denounced that at my command. And as far as I know, was not participating in that any longer. So I believe it to be a truthful denunciation despite any other issues. So when they're around me, no. But when they're around you, yes. And every single one of these people, Medicare super fans. That person I used to know included. I don't know what they think anymore. But before they're around me, after, I don't know. But when they're around me, no. But <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't say. But I know around me, the shit didn't fly. And was never promoted by me. And I never said anything other than fuck that lollicon bullshit, ban it. Never changed my position the whole entire time. And they're saying, you did this, or you were with this person, and you, okay, they used to be on your show, da 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 Well, when, when they were on, on my show or around me, they were not involved in that or saying that shit. Damn sure. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.